Zakia, do you agree with me that while table manners are really important, some food just cries out to be eaten with your fingers? I definitely agree with you and halloumi has that effect on me. And you? Well, it's actually the main dish on the Mela menu today. Spicy lamb chops. Mm. Although I'll happily use a spoon for the delicious dessert that follows. We're coming up to the end of summer, which means we're at the end of the berry season as well. On my menu today, we've got a pavlova served with fresh summer berries, marinated lamb chops, and an avocado and pomegranate salsa. Let's get started. First, the avo salsa. The ingredients are avocados, lemon juice, chopped onion, coriander, pomegranates. I'm going to season this with salt and black pepper. So first ingredient, pomegranates going over the avocado. These are really beautiful. They add a lovely, lush colour to any salad. Next, some chopped onions. You could also use red onions if you like. I'm keeping it really simple today. Coriander going on top. Just some chopped coriander. Next, Pour some lemon juice over, and lemon juice works really well with avo from a flavour point of view, but it also prevents the avo from turning brown. Let's season with salt. And now, black pepper. It's all about keeping it simple as well. Let's move on to the lamb chops. Now for the marinade. We've got some fresh cream and yoghurt going into a mixing bowl. I've got about two tablespoons of yogurt and two tablespoons of fresh cream. Next, in goes the garlic, a heaped tablespoon. Next, coarse ginger, about three tablespoons. Red chilli going in. Cumin going in. Next, in goes the garam masala. Lemon juice. Let's season with some salt. Stir these ingredients through. We're making a thick, spicy paste for the chops. Now it seems like there's a lot of ginger in this recipe and the reason I'm using ginger is ginger is used as a tenderizing agent. So your lamb chops are going to be super succulent and really tender. Now, let's smear the paste onto these lamb chops. These are pretty fatty lamb chops. I'm going to leave the fat on because it's what keeps the meat really tender. Now, let's get started with the marination. Just rubbing a bit of that marinade over the chops. Like so. And I've got a wire rack over a baking tray. The baking tray is just to catch any fat that drips off the chops. I'm using loin chops for this. It has a really tender eye of meat. It's important to get this marinade onto the lamb chops and cover it properly. Now you can leave these to marinate overnight. It's not really necessary. I just like marinating meat in advance. You could also cook these over a braai. Now the last one. Wow, that's just enough marinade to finish the last chop. Now, if you have a few over, you can always make chops chutney, another one of my childhood favorites. It was a Sunday morning special. Right, now let's get some oil onto these chops and get them into a hot oven. Say about 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I like my lamb chops quite pink and not overdone. Now, on with the pavlova. The first thing you need to know about making a pavlova is to separate the eggs quite carefully. Any trace of egg yolk will prevent your mixture from becoming light and fluffy, and that's the secret of making a good pavlova. Secondly, always use a glass or a metal bowl when you're mixing up a pavlova, because plastic will trap traces of grease. First, egg whites going in. Now, I've separated these already into the mixing bowl. Let's get it going. The egg whites have reached the soft peak stage. Now let's add sugar. Just a little at a time going in and don't stop whisking.
the egg now looks shiny, it's glossy, it looks perfect. Let's have a quick peek. Stiff peaks, ready for the corn flour. About a teaspoon going in. Next, the vinegar. And the vinegar is the secret of a good pavlova. It gives you a real chewy texture in the center. And it's the difference between a meringue and a pavlova. A meringue is crispy all the way through and a pavlova has a delicious chewy center. Now don't overwork this. A few blitzes and it's ready. This is now ready. Get a baking tray. Now I've put some baking paper on. This is silicone paper, not greaseproof paper. Okay, how do we know if this is really ready? The test, hold it over your head. <laughs> now just scoop the mixture onto the baking paper. If you use greaseproof paper, it will make the entire mixture stick to the paper and you won't be able to get it off. Onto the center of the paper. Now, just use a bit of the mixture onto the corners of that paper and just stick them down. Now, use a spatula and just work that mixture. It does puff up slightly, so try not to get too close to the edges. It does take a while in the oven and you have to leave it in the oven overnight as well just to make sure it's super crispy and it doesn't crack. Work it through. I use the tip of a pellet knife and make little peaks in the mixture. This is now ready for the oven. Bake it at 130 degrees for 80 minutes. Don't forget to leave it in overnight once the oven's switched off and no peeping because that's gonna cause the pavlova to crack. In it goes. This is what I've made already. I've let it rest in the oven overnight. It's cooled down. Always add the cream just before serving. I'm ready to serve. So a scoop of fresh cream going on top. I've whisked this cream with vanilla and icing sugar. Now you can use mascarpone. You can use some cream and yogurt in this mixture. Play around with it. Just do a few little peaks with your palette knife and in go those lush summer berries, strawberries and raspberries today. I like piling them up quite high. Now you can add blackberries, figs, or any fresh fruit you like. Now in go the raspberries. It's a very soft fruit, so take care when you're handling them. I'm piling them up quite high today. Now some fresh mint going on top. Just a few sprigs. That's the pavlova ready. This is the perfect feast for the end of summer. We've got the marinated lamb chops. We've got the avocado and pomegranate salsa. And to finish up this beautiful pavlova.